Because of the expected rising temperatures, a number of cooling centers will be opening across Sacramento County starting in just an hour and lasting until 8 this evening. The county is opening the DHA service centers in Sacramento and North Highland as weather respite centers in the city of Sacramento. The outreach and engagement center will be open starting at 2 this afternoon until 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. The Sam and Bonnie Pinnell Community Center will also open at 8 this morning. That'll go until 8 tonight. And in Sacramento, the police department will be open from noon until 8 this evening. And that hot weather outside probably has you turning up that air conditioning on the inside. But with so many of us doing that, there's also a concern about whether our power supply can keep yeah, up. I was doing that this weekend for sure. KCR 3's Melanie Wingo joining us now live. <laughs> Melanie, explain how the state energy managers are working to try and keep that supply up. Well, those energy managers are keeping a close eye on the power supply with the high temperatures in our forecast. The California Independent System Operator, or Cal ISO, managed the state's energy grid, and it is posting a heat bulletin for this week. So basically what that means is that it's a heads up to Californians that the heat will likely have an impact on our energy supply. So Cal ISO is urging Californians to remain vigilant in case a flex alert is issued. Now, flex alerts, as you'll remember, are when energy customers are asked to voluntarily conserve power during the late afternoon and early evening hours on certain days. And during flex alerts, you can kind of think of it in two categories, before a flex alert and after a flex alert. According to Cal ISO, before a flex alert, that's to the time to pre-cool your home by lowering the AC. Use all those major appliances before the flex alert and also close your window coverings during that time. Then during a flex alert, set your AC to 78 degrees or higher if your health conditions permit that. Avoid using major appliances during a flex alert and also turn off all unnecessary lights during the flex alerts. California energy managers say that our power supply is okay. It's stable for right now and they do expect it to remain stable through this, uh, the, the supply to remain uh, stable through this high heat situation we're expecting this week, but they will be keeping a close eye on it. And I should also mention during times when we've covered flex alerts in the past, those energy managers say that Californians really do a good job of heeding the flex alert warnings and abiding by those certain conditions during the flex alerts. So at least Californians are well aware of the things that they should do to conserve energy. Reporting in Sacramento, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. Melanie, thanks so much for that live report. A reminder that Sacramento Regional Transit District is offering free rides to and from cooling centers. Riders can hop on at no cost simply by showing a flyer, either print or digital version.